Hello, my beautiful Gemini Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your August 16th through 31st, 2024 reading. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this energy. And I would like to remind you, it is a collective reading. That means it's for all Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. If you'd like to have a personal reading, visit my website, royalmystic.com. And you can use the discount code that's floating below here. Follow the instructions. There are instructions. And you'll be able to save a little bit of money. And I'll be happy to do a reading with you as soon as you schedule it. So let's see what the cards have to say as we move into this energy. Oh, oh, I saw what this one was. And this one came out when I was shuffling to clear the cards. So I already knew what the bottom card was. Holy moly. You have the Ten of Wands. This is the energy of the burden being lifted and the struggle being over. Hallelujah. We love this energy because it really means you get the crick out of your back. You get to stand upright and walk in a place of peace without feeling the fear of all the craziness that's been going on. And the weight of the world is literally lifted off of you. And you get to walk away from what no longer serves you. Now, this may mean you're culling through a bunch of stuff and you're clearing. It can also mean changing your habits and even releasing uh, the way you may handle some people who are very toxic, right? Learning how to not take their energy on and release it as before it even becomes part of you. You're like, I am having nothing to do with that. I'm ready to walk forward in my own path and I release all of that energy. Now, it can be changing a habit it can be doing many, many things, but this can also be a job change for some folks. Letting go of the old in favor of the new and walking forward. Now, and I just have to say it, this sometimes means packing and moving. So that's the energy that's coming in. A bunch of change, but in the best way possible. The difficulty is being left behind. Hallelujah. You made it to the finish line. Let's see, or at least you made it out of the tunnel and you're headed to the finish line. So here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. All right. So it looks like whatever you've invested in is finally ripening. Sorry, they're taking my breath. I was trying to breathe and it was kept going, <gasps> pulling me in. So trying to uh, let this ripen on the vine as we speak. So the investment that you made, sometimes it's time and energy. Sometimes it's uh you know, helping somebody get out of a situation. Well, that investment's about to ripen on the vine and come back to you as a harvest. So love that energy that's being on point and allowing that energy to come to fruition without panicking and releasing as you move forward. So we receive and release. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, sun, moon and rising to have the information they seek Woo! to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Here is get yourself into the energy of restoring. You can't keep giving energy out and take nothing back in. You will be depleted. Um, allow yourself to reset every day. This is not something you do and then you go off and, and don't do it again. You, this has to become a pattern of a routine of self-care and the energy of compassion for yourself. You don't have to work your fingers to the bone. Learning new things, bringing in new abundance, a new focus is allowing you to master something new that helps to bring in more abundance to you. So there'll be time for that. It may be on the job training for some folks. And the hanged man, meditation, meditation, meditation. This is connecting to source, allowing yourself to be part of the higher vibrational frequency that helps you get out of that four of swords energy. And keeping your focus on what your goal is and not get diverted by other people's catastrophes. This is where we have to maintain the momentum so that you can move forward. So when all of this starts to move and shift for you, 
Uh, you got to be looking out for number one. You've had that focus before and got distracted. And now it's time to stick to it this time because you've got it flowing in the right direction. We've got the Knight of Swords all of a sudden out of the blue. So very fast acting energy that's going to come in and assist you. So here it comes, ready or not. Victory! Hallelujah! So <laughs> the Six of Wands is coming through the long-fought battle victorious. Absolutely. Head and shoulders above the rest and being very much in a place of, of celebration. The Aquarius star card, your soul's desire being granted. This can also be talking about higher work on your beautiful intuitive self. Uh, air signs are more uh, attached to that energy of flow because we are air. And that's the energy of ascension. It's the energy of your soul's wish being granted. It's a beautiful energy. We have in the career and finance, the three of cups. These are the seraphim and they are pouring a double portion into your cup where it will overflow. So we will take that with a glad heart. And the ace of cups. So there's the cup being filled to overflow. And there is the universe giving you the seal of approval to use it. So this is a high holy blessing. The brand new cycle of the moon coming in with the Akashic record pouring that energy into this cup. And that is the elixir of life inside the Holy Grail. It is the divine DNA of everything that has existed, does exist, or will exist. You have every tool needed in order to create whatever it is that you can focus on. So focus. Don't get in this energy. This is not focus. This is the opposite of focus. This is looking outside yourself in every direction around you instead of keeping your focus inward. Because what you're seeking, my darlings, is not something that can be found in the natural. You're creating it. So let the universe work the pieces. You work on what it is that you're going to create for you. Your, out, your outcome, that's all you, my best possible, even if you don't know what that is, if you just say, thank you universe, I received my best possible outcome, that's a focus. And don't try to henpeck it all to death or cherry pick it. The universe already has the pieces in play, but you can't grab them. You have to be still and focus and let them come to you. Kind of like trying to feed a bird or a cat. <laughs> We have the Knight of Cups, which is the extension of an offer or someone telling you how much they appreciate you. And it's a celebrational energy because it is genuine. So there comes that cup. The Pisces Moon, the energy of balancing your chakras, bridging that energy over into the white light and creating this beautiful energy through the moon. See it as an embryo and you're fertilizing it with your energy, just like here. If you stay in focus, then you start to get this turned into something solid in the now. And there is a real offer coming in. So that is from the divine. That is the hand of the universe that this came on horseback and you're going, but I don't know if that's exactly. So you focus again and here it is. This is a blessing in disguise. It is the hand of the universe offering the Holy Grail. Yes, that Holy Grail. And it may show up looking like a regular cup. But when you look at it closer, you're like, wait a minute, that's way bigger than these cups, right? So don't say no to something out of a knee-jerk reaction, reaction. Allow yourself to investigate before you turn it away because it's a blessing in disguise and you won't know the difference between that and something else. So check everything out before you say no. I'm not saying say yes to everything. That's the opposite. Hello, world. There's the energy of success, empowerment, standing in your beautiful victory. It is an uplifting energy and bringing you to a higher frequency, a higher position, being promoted, that kind of energy. Very strong, very much. Uh, it's only missing the song, I Am Woman. <laughs> right? And we have. The two of rods. There will be more than one way forward or more than one offer or one option. Uh, just know you've got to seize the one that feels like it aligns with you and then move with it because neither of these are wrong. They're both going to take you to the destination you're trying to get to. What you want to make sure as while you're on the journey, you don't want to be second guessing yourself. 
So carpe diem, but only on the one that you feel is right for you. Don't let someone else's opinion skew your vision going forward because you're going to doubt it if it's not authentically yours. So there you go. That's why the meditation is important to identify that. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. And there it is. Seize the day. And you want to be rested and ready, so get ready. It's, it's going to be time to seize the day. It's going to be faster than you think, is what my guides are saying. Faster than you think. That's why that Knight of Swords is there. Don't worry about it making sense. It's not going to be logical. You just have to trust that the universe is aligning you. This is where you have to have faith in your ability to just flow as the universe brings in miraculous changes and aligns things exactly as it should be. Um, don't force yourself uh, to, to turn away from something just because it doesn't make sense. Miracles happen every day with things that don't make sense. That's what a miracle is. Heart's desire being granted. Focus your meditations on that. How will I feel when everything is aligned and I'm in a place of safety and the burdens are lifted and I'm able to make some moves because this is where I think you're feeling kind of stuck, but it's okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to align and it's going to be what you want. <laughs> yes, it will. Hello, Sun card, the happiest card in tarot, by the by. Remember, this is the change that you're asking for. It's a rebirth. It's like having everything show up brand new, new opportunity. It is the, the opportunity of a lifetime is like the definition of this card. So super califragilistic, and we love it as it shows up saying, stay focused because you're right there on the alignment. You can't miss this opportunity unless you don't show up for it. That's the way the sun card works. It's already yours. But if you don't show up for it, then you, you let it pass by. We have the Ace of Cups again showing that's what this beautiful energy of that lightning strike is coming in with the, the blessings from the universe for you to be able to go forward, taking all your creative abilities and creating anything you can believe in. So keep yourself in the positive way. And you feel like, oh, I need to go and see. I want to make sure. Nope. Just stay focused. You can't go buy this at Walmart. You have to be able to just stand in your power and let it come to you. And it will because there's your victory with that six of rods. I know you feel like your hands are tied right now, but they're really not. It's all happening. You just can't put your fingers in it. We like to control everything. We just you got to release that and let and trust the universe and allow. Here's the, the judgment card. This is Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn of resurrection, something that is coming back to life and being restored to you with the soul's desire being granted or the soul's wish being granted. So wonderful as that comes back through. And the Leo strength card. This is the energy of loyalty and walking down the path. With this wonderful energy of Archangel Ariel. Ariel is the Lion of God and very strong in keeping you focused as the celebration begins. And the money is coming on the way. You just got to let it ripen on the vine. This is that same card we got at the beginning, the investment. Well, you're waiting for the payoff right here. And it's coming because there's the Ace of Cups. Scorpio Death Card. Death to the old way. Clearing, cleansing, purging, and releasing. Brand new things are being sown and new blossoms are coming in. Yay, team. Clear that out. We have the King of Swords, which is very much in your Gemini energy and very much Archangel Michael coming in to assist as you move forward with this divine offer that's being made. Putting you in a position of fully active. 
And all believers couldn't be more perfect with the moon card because this is your divine belief. The things that you believe to be true are true for you. So being in that energy is spectacular. And we have the two of cups. Now, this is the energy of divine soulmate, soul partnership. It's a wonderful energy allowing you to stand in the power of this connection to source without fear, knowing that everything is aligned. And that four of cups is definitely here to assist you in that energy. And last but not least, we have the Empress, the fertility of the divine, a new beginning, giving you the framework for your ability to move forward. She's also a muse and very much in a place of guidance. So really good with the world card here because both of those show uh, the, the energy of new and fertility and growth. So, wow, my Gemini friends, this is wonderful. Try to try to keep yourself in balance and don't let yourself go from one extreme to the other. Whatever happens, when, especially when you get nervous, focus on your best possible outcome. And that's all you have to say. Thank you, universe. I received my best possible outcome. And that way you're not giving in, feeding anything into the negative. So we don't want to feed the fear. We want to stay in a place of grounded security and knowing that however it shakes out, we're going to turn out on top. In the, in the position that we want to be in because a you've got the sun card you got the resurrection you got the star card you got your heart's desire being granted you got the world card these are just right off the cuff so it just keeps getting and you have archangel michael and the clearing energy of that death card plus you have two aces of cups that's amazing so i love you guys i hope you have a beautiful second half of august go out there and carpe diem Find your, find your way forward and don't let go. I love you guys. Don't forget we have daily mystic uh, affirmations. We also have weekly mystic readings to give you a forecast for the week. And if you look down below, there's a blue join button if you want to check out the memberships. I love you guys. Namaste.